Hello again, everyone. Moldavite is one of the most fascinating things I have ever encountered in that it does so much for people, and yet only around 5% of our society currently have any idea what it is. Currently, it's more expensive than gold. Those that have it in their possession are supposed to experience positive changes in their life. And what makes it different from other stones, gems, and crystals is that it's actually true to reputation. Now, one of the philosophies I have for my channel is that, metaphorically, I will not take a seat at this grand table of knowledge unless I can bring something new and unique to it. Halloween of 2017, I published a video about Moldavite that some of you liked, commented, shared, and subscribed, so I feel I owe you an update. I've had some in my possession for over four and a half years now, so I have some experience with it. Let me give the quick background for the uninitiated. Physically, Moldavite is classified as a tektite, which is a naturally occurring glass, an almost 15 million year old byproduct of a binary meteor impact, which resulted in a six trillion megaton explosion, uh -huh, leaving two craters in its wake, one 22 kilometers across and the other two and a half kilometers across, which can still be seen to this day. The impact craters are actually in southern Germany with the ejecta, which is the earthly contents of the craters themselves, plus the meteors superheated thousands of degrees in half a second and then shot in the liquid state up to 400 kilometers away, where it then rained down into the Czech Republic. Now you take an electrician's voltmeter and put it on a piece and you will find that it does not produce any kind of electric charge. Actually, some quartz and limestone actually can produce a small minuscule charge. You will also find that Moldavite is not magnetic or radioactive at any level. Basically, it is inert. It doesn't react to anything. You know what also falls into that classification? A little thing called the Hope Diamond. A cursed stone that bankrupted wealthy families, plural, up to a point where it needed to be donated to a museum. One thing that cannot be denied about Moldavite are the testimonials from people of all walks of life, from all over the world, that share similar experiences. Now, do I have a message or something new to add to the conversation? Yes, absolutely. I'm not here to waste anybody's time. Let's put it this way. I have pretty much experienced every trait or attribute that Moldavite has to offer. Positive physical transformation? Oh yeah. Since the last video, I've taken up not only running, but marathon running and everything that goes with it, the diet, stretching, mobility exercises, etc. The person I was in my previous video couldn't run down the block without getting winded. I also do a general daily workout and at 53, mm -hmm, I have no back pain knee pain, hip pain, nothing. I feel good. Plus, I've pretty much given up every bad habit I've ever had, except for soda pop. And I believe that one's on the future agenda. Cosmic experiences? You mean like seeing unexplained lights in the dark sky that weren't ours? Spiritual experiences, or what others might call religious experiences? Yeah, two in 2019 alone. How about wrestling your demons, or having your problems and issues brought to the surface so you can work on them and correct them. Actually, that seems like all I've been doing lately. I have a complete understanding of how my life has progressed to this point, why I did what I did in my past, why I even started smoking weed on a regular basis, and why I just recently stopped. How do you like that, huh? I even understand how my parents were to me as a child, and even how their parents were to them. So that hereditary understanding, yeah, that too. <laughs> My impression is Moldavite is like calling in the mechanic. They are here to fix stuff, not hold your hand and tell you how good you look. For me, it was kind of like a plug-in for my brain or firmware update of Inner Voice 2.0, as if my inner voice went off to college for four years and now has all this new and interesting information for me. I obtained Moldavite back in 2017, around March, through uh, word of mouth, a friend told me about it, and ever since then, it's been all about 
positive transformation and learning life's lessons. My first piece, this guy, cost about $130, I believe. And it's a little uh, shark fin, seven grammar, which I refer to as El Tiburon. One of the first things that happened was I received an email totally unsolicited inviting me to a focus group that I would get paid for. Why not? It actually turned into a three-day event and I received a decent payday for it that I used to move into a new, better place to live. Now to celebrate, I purchased a bigger piece locally, a little droplet shape, which ended up being stolen by a raven. So be careful <laughs> with yours while you're outside. Those little thieves love shiny things, apparently. Now, once I moved into that new place, I purchased a quality 21 gram piece off Mike Eccleson over at intervisioncrystals.net. Since watching Mike's videos on how to spot a fake, I believed his was the more trustworthy sources on the internet to purchase from. And he's a hell of a great guy. The piece I ended up purchasing was a droplet shape, like I said, and which ended up getting returned by the local postal carrier instead of delivered. Why? Well, I asked the postal guy, he's an older Chinese dude, and he said he had a bad feeling about that package and returned it. I'm serious. It even gets weirder than that because when I told Mike about it, he said, don't worry, happens all the time. What do you, what do you mean it happens all the time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, instead of waiting for the droplet to be boomeranged back, I was given the opportunity to choose a new piece around the same price, which is how I came into possession of my favorite little 21.6 gram heart-shaped piece here, which I refer to as El Corazon. <laughs> I even gifted pieces to my sister and nephew, and without going into too much detail because it's family, it's working out better for them than me. Yeah. I had the experience of a lifetime witnessing the solar eclipse of 2017. There's even a video about it. And I had my piece in my pocket, and I highly recommend that experience to anyone and everyone. Get into the dark shadow area where you can see the ring of fire and the diamond ring. Easily one of the most cosmic things you can experience here on Earth. On Halloween of 2017, I produced that last video about our you know, little green friend here. And I'm sorry about the four year delay, but how does one say it? It wasn't time for a follow up yet. I would have just given my opinion and not much else, and who needs that in this day and age? And December of 2017 is when I started running. It was as if my Moldavite piece took a look at me and said, healthy body, healthy mind, start running again. And running, I gotta say, is easily the best antidote for depression that I can recommend to anyone. Now, why do I feel Moldavite was involved in this running inspiration thing? Well, for about five years before I purchased my pieces, I lived in a hilltop complex which has access to some of the greatest hiking, biking, running, and dog walking trails that exist in Northern California. I mean, seriously, you go that way, you go to the Golden Gate Bridge. You go the other way, and you go to the beach with beautiful views the whole trek. In the five years I lived up there, with all that inspiration, I went for a run twice. And running had been something I had been passionate about when I was in my mid to late 20s. I purchased my pieces. Eight months later, I'm at it full time. And guess what? I'm training for next year's marathons up on those very same trails I was just talking about. In the summer of 2018, I took a cross-country road trip to do some soul searching and saw the night sky from the dark sky part of the country, you know, witnessing the Milky Way and all its glory amongst tens of thousands of stars. The constellation Orion is big as God. <laughs> and then on 10, 16, 18, made that a specific date, I had my first genuine UFO, unexplained lights, UAP, unidentifiable aerial phenomena experience in the early morning. Ironically, that was the night YouTube went down worldwide. If I was a conspiracy theorist, I would have had a field day with that. Cosmic experiences, anyone? 
I'll be making another video about that experience very soon. Don't worry. During this time period was, well, it was when I started to say goodbye to family and friends as their time here on earth was complete. From a neighbor that I got along with great to my 24 seven companion, it became a difficult time. Each passing was different and each one taught me something new. Now, I'm not saying Moldavite had anything to do with their passing. I'm saying it may have helped me understand the situation better. I feel you can understand life a little bit better if you understand death just a little bit. And then came 2019, or what I call my year of darkness that I somehow survived. By then, I'd said goodbye to too many loved ones and essentially mentally and emotionally cracked for a while. To work on my depression, my instinct was to run more. During that time, I had two different spiritual experiences. One I'm going to have to keep to myself and the other I'm kind of excited to make a video about because it involved mushrooms. <laughs> on a positive note, yes, I'm going to talk about you. 2019 was the year I adopted Buddy the Pitbull, <laughs> and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. <laughs> if you want that kind of positive change, it can be found at your local shelter. I then ran in my local county 10K, as well as the San Francisco Half Marathon, both times with my Moldavite piece on me, because I'm weird. In 2020, that was, well, for everyone, the year of the big shakeup, and I ended up relocating again, started working on my anger issues, and how does one say it? General assholery? <laughs> Here's a good example. And I'm sure everyone has someone they know where it is said that person needs to take a good long look in the mirror and see what an asshole they really are. Guess what I did? <laughs> I did just that. And because of it, I learned how to release my grip on my anger issues, which was only the most liberating goddamn thing I've ever done. I recommend it to everyone. And I'm seriously considering making a video about that very topic. It isn't gone by any stretch of the imagination because I'm human <laughs> and because you don't just flip it off like a light switch, but the process has begun. And I, and that process again is a positive change that I really kind of wasn't expecting. I'll tell you a secret. When you release your grip on your anger, the superpower you gain is that you get to see that former behavior in other people like everybody else on the planet. <laughs> if you ask me, anger is the biggest problem in the world today. Lots of angry people, and hopefully some will get the message like I did. Now we're up to 2021, and boy, what did I do this year? Mm, only quit my profession of 32 years and took up something new. And, <laughs> funny because I'm still dealing with it, after three and a half years of running, I ended up injuring my left foot, actually my Achilles tendon, and I learned that I wasn't placing my foot correctly when I run. I realized I was doing it wrong and had to reteach myself how to properly place my feet when I run, basically start all over again. How moldavite is that, huh? This may sound funny, but it's, it means a lot to me. I quit cheese. It doesn't sound like much at all, but I used to almost live off pizza. <laughs> the result is that I'm basically five pounds lighter on average from that decision alone. Back in 2017, I weighed in the high 190s on average, and now I'm in the high 170s on average. Thank you running and thank you diet. <laughs> and here's my home run. I mentioned this earlier. Just recently, I gave up a 30 year marijuana habit. I'm on week four, heading to my one month anniversary, and I have no cravings, no desire to go back. It's as if I turned that off like a switch. No sweats, mild insomnia, maybe a little irritability, but that's passing quickly. Actually, day two sucked, but day two is going to suck whether you're quitting sugar, cigarettes, or heroin. <laughs> but that was about it for me. And most recently, I've locked out my Twitter and I haven't really touched my work-oriented Instagram in a while, and uh, plus I've been off Facebook for over four years, so I'm not going to ask you to follow me on other social media as I'm kind of done with that headache for now. After many years, I feel I'm just 
burnt out on everybody's opinion. Sorry, uh, but for now, this channel, the comment section, will be the only thing. Lee, you said you have a message. What is it? Well, cool your jets. I actually have two messages for you. The message is, like I mentioned before, right now, 53, I feel better than I did in my 30s and 40s. No knee pain, hip pain, you know, back pain. And I'm at the weight I was as a senior in high school. But as a senior in high school, could I run 10 miles? No. Could I do 100 push-ups in five minutes? No. So I'm kind of wondering, when is the prime of our lives supposed to be? The second message, I'm someone who has been to that distant edge of depression. You know, where poets and authors write of oblivion and the abyss. And I was able to come back from it. It was pretty bad. Now I'm someone that can honestly say that depression is in my past. Sadly, I know not many come back from that place, which is kind of why I'm being gentle here. I used to fear the word tomorrow, as it was just more of the depression crap that I was feeling today. And now I look forward to tomorrow. I'm no one special. I'm Joe Schmuck anyone, and if I can do this, you can. I'm not Prince Charming. That would be Buddy the Pitbull. <laughs> Again, with the metaphor, I really didn't know there was a way out of depression until I thought to look for the exit. If I were talking to somebody dealing with depression right now, I would tell them about that exit door. There may be no illuminated exit sign on top of it, but it's there somewhere. And I just want to take a moment to say to those out there suffering from it or fucking dealing with it like I did, you're not alone, okay? There may be a way out. Depression can be like a cold or flu that you eventually get over. I personally thought I would have to deal with it for the rest of my life. Is it totally over for me? Maybe not. But I believe I'm closer to being free from it than I've ever been. Okay, now the channel, let's end on a positive note, the Advanced Living Network, if you will. Advanced Living 2.0. When I first conceived of this channel, it was a pleasant option to making annoying ads on local TV for my home entertainment business. But that's changing too because, you know, the world's changing. I'll be incorporating more lifestyle things like running and unidentifiable lights in the sky. All the topics I kind of rambled on earlier about, I even have a few ghost stories to tell. If I can inspire just one of you to get into running or possibly help with your depression somehow, I will feel I have done my job and I can die a happy person. I even say that to my friends and family. So subscribe, like, give me a hey in the comment section. I'll hey back, you know, like a virtual high five. Sure, go ahead. I try to be active in the comment section, and I'll respond to many as I can. So don't be shy, and please don't be boring. <laughs> Thank you for connecting with me. I am Lee with Advanced Living. Stay cool, everyone. We will talk again soon.